What is going on guys welcome back to another video of the sql tutorial series here on neural 9 in today's video we're going to learn how to update and delete records from the database and how we can also alter tables drop tables or truncate tables so let us get right into it All right, so last time we started to cover the basics of SQL. Today we're going to continue to do that. Last time we created a new database tutorial DB. Inside of that database, we created a new table people with these attributes here. And we also learned about select statements and insert statements. So we learned how to add new data to the database or to a table in the database. We learned how to select from a table and how to also specify conditions for the selection. And in today's video, we're going to learn how to update values. So not how to insert new values, but how to change existing values, how to delete existing values, and then how to also change the entire table structure. So how can we change data types of parameters here or of uh, columns of attributes? How can we change their name? How can we change the table itself, not just the data in the table? So we're going to start with a simple update. Now, this is the table as we have it right now. This is the content one, two, three, up until eight with the different names here with the different uh, ages and heights. Now, Mike has no age and no height. How can we change that? Uh, let's say we want to set the age of Mike to 30 and we want to set the height to 179, for example. How do we do that? We do that with an update statement. So we say update and then people, which is a table that we're targeting. And then we use the set command. So update people set. And then we can say what we want to change. For example, pH equals and then I can say 30. And then I have to provide uh, a condition. So where do I set this age to 30? Because if I just do it like that, it's going to set all the ages to 30, at least in SQLite, this is what it's going to do. We want to set the age to 30 for Mike. So we can say either where P name is Mike or where PID is one, which is better because we can have two mics and then we would set the age for both mics. In this case, we only have one mic, so you can do uh, you can do that however you like. I'm going to say where PID equals one. That is the update statement. I can run this. It is executed successfully. I can run the select statement again. And now you can see Mike has the age 30. And I can also say now that I want to set the height. So P height is going to be 179. And then I can select. There you go. So now we have some values. This is the update statement. Now we can also delete an entire entry. So we can delete an entire record. For example, James might be no longer a customer if this is a customer base. So we can delete James from the database. Uh, so we can say delete from people where and then p underscore id equals six. Now this is a unique identifier. So when you do it like that, you will always delete just one entry. I can again also just say p name um, equals James, or maybe even more interesting than that, maybe I want to delete all people below the age or above the age of 50, for example, because for some reason, my offer that I'm using my database for is only targeted towards people below the age of 50. So what I could do is I can say, okay, delete all the people where the age of those people is above 50. Like this. And when I run this, uh, oh, I'm using safe mode. So chances are you also have to change the setting, we need to say set SQL underscore safe underscore updates equals zero. Then I need to run this. And then I can do that. There you go. And now if I select, you can see that there is no person here with age above 50. And this is not just a select statement. Those people are no longer in the database at all. So they're not part of the people table anymore. So this is how you update and how you delete. Now, let's say I'm going to insert a new value here. Let's say I insert into people. And I'm just going to go now with PID p name and p height, I don't care about the h. And I'm going to insert come on, values. 
Uh, let's go with ID 10. I know nine is free, but I'm going to go with 10. Then let's go with uh, James since James is no longer here. And then we're going to go with remember, this is a floating point number. So we can actually say 178.23. So this is the case right now, if I select from people after running this statement, you can see I have a floating point number, which is possible because this is not an integer, this is a float. So let's say though, I want to change this now, for some reason, I have a problem with height being a float, I want to change it to an integer. How do I do that? I do that with an alter table command, because I want to alter the table structure, the way the table works. So I can actually go ahead and say alter table people, and I can change the data type of the height from float to int. I can say, um, I can say modify. And I think this is actually a difference uh, in the dialect. So if you use MySQL, you can say alter table people modify column. And what we do then is we say p underscore height integer. So this is how you would do that in MySQL. I think in other database systems, you have to say alter table people alter column p height. So this might be different in your uh, dialect of SQL. So if I run this now, and if I select again, you can see that James no longer has a floating point number, it was truncated. So it's only 178 now. So this is how you can change the data type and uh, the column itself. Now we can also rename the column. So I can say alter table. And uh, then I can say people rename column p height to something like, I don't know, to p underscore size, something like this. And then when I select everything from people, you can see I have p size instead of p height. But of course, this is not a good name. So I'm going to change that back to height. Uh, of course, we can also add new columns to the table. So I can actually go ahead and say alter table people add column. And I can say I want to have a weight column, which is also a float. And then when I select from people, of course, this column is going to be null everywhere, but we have a new weight column, which we can change and uh, we can change the null values to values, we can fill in uh, new values for new entries. So this is now a new column in the table. I can, of course, also drop the column again. So I can say alter table people drop column p weight. And by doing that, we no longer have the column. And of course, I can also drop all of the table. So I can actually say, drop the full table and delete it. So it's not no longer here. But before I do that, I want to show you another command, which sounds similar at first, but it's different. It's the truncate table command. Now drop table removes the entire table, the table is gone, it doesn't exist anymore. Truncate table keeps the table, but removes all the data from the table. So if I say, truncate table people. If I run this, and if I select them, you will see that we don't have any data in the table anymore. I can also say drop table. And I can also of course say drop table if exists, because I don't want to drop a table that does not exist. But I can say drop table if exists people. And now if I say select from people, it will tell me there is no table people. And I can, of course, rerun this command because it has an if exists. But if I remove this, it will tell me the same thing. This table does not exist. Yeah, so that's it. We can drop tables, we can alter tables, we can drop columns, we can add columns, we can truncate tables. Um, and yeah, this is just a little bit more of the basics now. So we know now how to create a table, how to fill it up with values, how to query specific values with certain conditions with certain filters. We know how to change the table structure, how to update individual records, how to delete records, how to truncate the full table, and how to drop the full table, how to remove the table entirely. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.